All right, so I got to ask you out the bat. Growing up in Toronto, playing for the Blue Jays, how is that? You know what, it, it, it's awesome. Uh, this, that's a team I kind of grew up cheering for. Me and my family would always go down to the park when I was younger. So now being like on the field, uh, contributing to wins, it's, uh, it's really a dream come true. I'm grateful for it every day, and it's pretty special. I got to ask you then, so growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Yeah, so growing up, probably favorite hitter was uh, Carlos Delgado. Yes, the man. No, man, he, he was crazy back in the day. And uh, Roy Holiday was probably my favorite pitcher. Um, always kind of like emulated him in the backyard, trying to learn his pitches and stuff. So those are two of the guys that were my favorite. I love that. I love that. So you know what? Speaking of Doc Holiday, rest in peace to him. I do this course called Baseball Mount Rushmore. OK. That means you got to put the four faces on. Well, for you, I'm going to do this. Sure. Since you're a Blue Jay guy. Yep. Your four Blue Jays all time Ooh. for the Mount Rushmore for the Blue Jays. Okay, uh, Dave Steve's got to be up there. Um, Roy Holiday got to be up there too. Delgado, and uh, let's go, Joe Carter. You like know that. what I mean? World Series, World yeah. Series, right? So yeah, those are my four. I like that. I like that. So you know, the first time you started step on MLB to show the video. Yep. What did you think? Um, so the first year was uh, 19. I was in the game. I was super excited. I was like, wow, you know, like this is awesome. I have my own my own guy in the game. But I think I was rated like a 51. <laughs> so I was like, that's kind of disrespectful. You know, I couldn't even play with myself because I sucked. <laughs> but uh, next year, you know, the rating kept on uh, going up. So it's, a, it's respectable right now. I like that. I like that. So obviously with closers, there's this cool thing now with the themes, people having their own songs, walking out, coming to the mountain. Yeah. So I got to ask you. If there was a song named after you, you could pick any artist, dead or alive, to do your song for you to walk to the mound, oh. who would it be? You know what, I'd have to go with Drake. Yeah. Toronto guy, he's got some bangers, I love his music, so uh, definitely Drake. I like that, I like that, I like that. So, another question I have as far as like baseball history, you know, when we talk about video games, we talk about creative players, yep. right? We call them cheat codes. Yeah. So, in a hypothetical world, we have a cheat code in baseball. Yeah. And there's a guy that can pitch and hit 40 home yes, runs. Yes, yes. Shohei Otani. Yep. I'm pretty sure you had to face this guy before. Yep. So, when you think about that, how's, what comes to your mind when you think about a guy that can do that at a high level? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we talk about it all the time. Um, you know, I throw one inning, I'm sore the next day. I don't know how this guy's throwing, you know, eight innings, going out there and hitting. He's a true freak, and he's, he's like one of the best in the league at both. Uh, I don't understand it, but I'm glad he can do it. I love it. I love it. So speaking of like just crazy athletes and superstars, I mean this team, Vlad, Bo. I mean you're one of our, one of our favorite closes. Obviously, just the list goes on. Gosman. When you look at the potential of this team, what do you see from this team going forward? You know, like you said, we got uh, young superstars everywhere you look. You know, we got that uh, veteran presence in our starting rotation as well, and uh, you know, bullpen down there. We got some dogs in there too. So. You know, I, I think you can see it when we're playing well. We're, you know, I don't think there's a team out there that can beat us. So we just got to stay consistent, get in the playoffs, and get crazy. I like that. I like that. So it's the fanatics you question the other day. Sure. Your favorite baseball movie of all time? Ooh, favorite baseball movie, uh, Bull Durham. I like you that. know, it, it does like the minor leagues a lot. Shows that grind, and, and man, they're they're pretty pretty spot on. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's just say. Blue Jays win the World Series this year, and then somebody says, you know what, we need to do a movie about the Blue Jays. <laughs> and, of course, Jordan Romano has to be in the movie, but you can't be in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Who do you want to play you in the oh, movie? Oh, who do I want to play me? Uh, maybe, like, uh, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> you know, he's a handsome guy, like, cool, smooth. Kind of not what I am, but I'd, I'd want to be him. So, uh, yeah, Matthew McConaughey, hopefully play me. All right, last question for me. So, obviously, you're, you're part of having to be a part of clutch situations. So I'm gonna give you a scenario. Sure. Bottom of the ninth, you got two strikes on there. You're guaranteed to get the out. Okay. But from an all-time perspective, what batter would you want to face to get that final strike? Ooh. Man, final. That that's a great question. You know what? I'd go maybe like uh, Barry Bonds. That's a good one. I mean, he's he's dangerous, you know, and I'd like to get the final out against him. Well, man, Jordan, man, I appreciate your time, man. We definitely. More. Hopefully by this time next year, we'll be talking about that World Series ring that you That's got. That's right. Hopefully. Let's All do right, it. Man, appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Bye.